Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my Dell XPS 9560 that I've been using for the last couple years to a one terabyte Western Digital Black. This is the Black Edition um, SSD drive. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've been wanting to upgrade my laptop storage and speed. And this right here actually gives you both because my laptop actually has the regular 500 gigabyte ssd drive is just a regular crucial i think it's the brand is crucial this one right here is the high performance one the one that's really good for gaming or or high productivity applications uh this one gives you read speed up to 3470 uh, megabits per second or megabytes per second read and you know it's high performance and i got it pretty damn cheap considering the the size and the speed for 150 dollars on amazon so i'm gonna leave a link in my description just in case you want to get one of these i know some people have doubts on uh, how to get their windows back to a new hard drive i like to do it using the recovery tool way um and what it is there's a couple ways you can um like put back your computer just the way it was like for example there's like the mirror backup way which actually copies your computer state to a hard drive which you would need actually a hard drive it would copy everything all your programs all your files to a hard drive then you would copy that to the new hard drive right but i don't like that because when i upgrade to a new hard drive i like to feel like i'm using a new computer you know so i like to start fresh and what i did and what i always do when i upgrade a hard drive is that i do a recovery drive you could do it with a 16 gigabyte um, usb drive and i back up all the files that i want to back up like the most urgent ones i just back it up to a hard drive or videos like in my case i i back up some videos and some files some pictures that i want to back up to pass it over to this drive i just back it up here and that's it so now of course let's go ahead and turn this around and i'm gonna go ahead and start taking the screws out this thing over here has uh, two type of screws the xps but of course your laptop might be different this one actually uses the t5 t5 this is like the star shape two star shape two and in the inside right here in the inside right here it has two philip screws so you got two philip screws right here and you have all these screws right here so i'm gonna go ahead and start okay so now we have these done okay those are already loose there so i'll just keep it there that way they don't get lost and that's it we have this ready to get out there you have it there you have it and okay let's gonna turn this around the drive is right here it's covered by this uh thermal pad which i'm gonna take out and i'm gonna use it later on again with another with the other drive i'm just gonna put it on the other drive i did buy some new thermal pad that way i could put it on the drive i forgot to get it when i got this drive so it should be arriving today and i'll do that uh right after you know i finish this video i'll just go ahead and put another thermal pad over it it's good because it makes the drive a little bit more cooler plus you could use thermal pad for anything here as well so right now what we got left is take the drive out Oh man, wow, it comes out so easily. There you have it, look at that. So this right here, let's see what brand is it. I don't see the brand, but it's a 500 gigabyte card. And the cool thing is you can actually use this as an external drive now. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the new drive, which is right here. And man, these things look so much bigger on photos on Amazon. That is so tiny look at that awesome one terabyte m and v there you go and woohoo that is so nice look at that and the other side looks nice and clean awesome just gonna put this right there just the same way that you put the other one that you took the other way out just make sure it slides in there you go slide in you feel a little click there and that's it that's how easy that's how easy it is to replace your SSD drive 
on most laptops. There you have it. So, like I said, almost on any laptop you could think about um, that you can actually replace the SSD drive. Uh, it's so beneficial because it's so easy. And it's a great upgrade. You know, it's a very good upgrade that is totally worth doing because, um, especially if you go from a normal SSD drive to a high performance one, you should notice the difference in speed. And of course, the capacity is double. And uh, I'm gonna use the same thermal pad that was on the other one, but like I said, this doesn't go bad that much. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right there over. That way you can keep the drive nice and cool. And that's it. That's all you have to do. That is done right there. Like you see right there, just make sure when you put the drive in, it actually snaps in, right? And make sure you secure it. Don't tighten it up too much. Don't go Hulk on it and tighten it up too much because you don't want to damage the screw or the, or the motherboard. So don't tighten it up too much. Just make sure it's nice and secure and it's not going to move from there and that's it okay so guess what right after i finished installing the ssd drive and closed the laptop guess what i just received this on my front door these are the thermal pads so i decided to go ahead and re-edit the video again and go ahead and add these thermal pads i bought them on amazon i think this is a pack of four for six dollars i think it was and the cool thing about these is that you don't have to cut them because they already come at the same size as the ssd drive so it's the same size and they're just one millimeter thick they're one millimeter thick and just make sure you take away it has two plastic one on each side and what i'm gonna do here is put it right over it there you have it just like that right over it and i'm gonna go ahead and put another one another thermal pad that didn't have before uh right here on the heat sink right over the cpu and the gpu i'm gonna go ahead and put one there you don't have to but i'm gonna do it anyways because uh it makes it a little bit more cooler so it won't hurt your laptop okay so if you do it or you don't do it it won't hurt your laptop at all so i just put it right there there you go so now i got thermal pads on a new thermal pads on the ssd and now i have a thermal pad right here on the heat sink right over the cpu and the gpu which is right there some people also put some third pads here turn pads here but i'm just gonna go ahead and put it like that and that's it so now let's go ahead and close it for reals this time and we'll be back when i finally finish this and show you guys what happened after i installed windows 10 on this laptop so now let's go ahead and put all these screws back again okay so we got all the screws done and we're ready to go so uh one thing to keep in mind is that we're going to use this usb drive right and just make sure it's actually plugged in to your computer uh to of course one of the usb drives or ports of course because we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and we're going to go to boot menu that way um it loads up and we can actually load from the drive so you want to do this this is going to be crucial because remember your hard drive has no operating system whatsoever and you want to make this as smooth as possible so of course we're going to go ahead and plug in the usb drive that we use to create a recovery tool and in my case my dell xps when you turn it on to go into boot mode uh, you have to press F12 before the logo or when the logo appears. So that's what we're going to do right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. There you go. And press F12. I'm just going to start tapping F12. There you go. Whoop. There you have it. It uploaded. There you go. Let's go and fix the camera here. Another thing you want to make sure is that your laptop also has power, right? Also has power because you're going to be installing this Windows or recovering from your USB drive and you don't want anything uh, that the power causes it to malfunction. So like you see there, when we got here, I automatically recognized the drive that I have right there, UEFI boot. 
SanDisk Cruiser Glide, which is this right here. So with your, you know, with your um, up and down button on the keyboard, you can move around here, right? But what we want to do is stay right there and click enter. So when we click enter, it should load to the drive. Let's see if it's true. This is going to be the first time I do this in a long time. So it's been a long time I don't do this. Okay, there you have it. So it loaded up to choose your keyboard. I'm going to choose US, of course. Uh, it says recover from drive. Reinstall Windows from the recovery drive connected to the PC. Uh, reset your PC to see advanced options. Turn off your PC. So you could go ahead here. For example, if you're doing some other stuff, you could go ahead here and see all these options right here. Let's go back again here. And let's go ahead and click right here. And right here it says, just remove my files. Use this if you're keeping your PC. Oh, this one right here is fully clean the drive. Use this if you're recycling the PC. This can take several hours. Just remove my files because I'm going to keep this PC. So I'm going to click right there and recover. That's it. So we're going to go ahead and recover because like you see right there, it's going to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Okay, so here we are right after finishing installing the SSD drive and after installing Windows 10 freshly on the laptop. Now, I had to change the way that I install Windows 10 on the laptop because like I was showing you guys, I was gonna do the fresh install of Windows 10 using the recovery USB drive that I did, right? But for some reason, my laptop didn't want to finish installing Windows using recovery tool. And I think it's because it couldn't recognize the new hard drive or the new SSD drive. So I was in panic mode in a second there until I realized that I can in download the Windows Creator tool from Microsoft, which is right here. This page right here, uh, this right here actually was a lifesaver. All you got to do is go to uh, create Windows 10 installation media. What this does is that it lets you download Windows 10 or the create Windows 10 installation media to, to a USB drive and install a fresh Windows 10 on a new laptop. So that's what I actually had to do. Um, it's totally free to do it via here as well. And it's basically the same thing that I was gonna get from this. Cause remember, I was gonna do a fresh install from the recovery tool because remember hard drive is new, so there's nothing in it. And my backup, everything that I backed up was on a, an external hard drive. So that's how I get my other stuff into my computer but all i had to do is download this if you have the same problem just download this uh, make sure when you are creating this on another computer right i did this on another computer there's an important option that says upgrade this computer or create a flash drive so you can use it on another computer that's the option you're going to choose and once you finish it's going to take like almost two hours to create this that's it. The only thing that I had to do is put this on the USB port, turn on the computer. I didn't even have to press one of these um, F2 or F12 buttons and automatically the computer loaded up to the Windows installation process. That's it. All you have to do is follow the installation process and you get Windows 10 for free. Everything's working perfectly good. I did a couple benchmark using the the this right here let's go and open it up okay i did a couple benchmarks doing the crystal disc mark and look at this look at this oh wait oh, oh. no what am i doing okay i'm trying to switch to the other drive okay see the scores these are the scores that i got before the upgrade these right here are the scores with this SSD, with, I got that score, 1763, read, 764, write, and did another test, 1682, read, 774, write, right, and then when I did the upgrade, 
Look at that. 32 95 27 74. That is a huge jump in speed. And I did the other one. Wait a second. I did two tests. Okay, that one. Okay, look at this. 34 44 29 69. 32 95 27 74. Look at that. Look at those different speeds. That's insane. So the difference in speed is totally different. Now, for some reason, keep in mind, I'm using Crystal Disk Mark 7 on this new hard drive. And on the other hard drive, for some reason, I guess I, I jumped to another version. is um, a Crystal Disk Mark 6.0, but it's still 64 bits. So that's a huge freaking difference that's a huge freaking difference so right now so far i'm happy with the upgrade so the other upgrade i think i would do later on in the future is adding a 16 gigabyte um stick ram stick make it a 24 gigabyte ram computer that would be freaking awesome and that's it guys so i just want to share this video with you guys just in case you all have a computer just like mine and you're thinking of upgrading your ssd drive this drive is so freaking awesome and it's kind of cheap compared to the samsung one and this is the high performance one which is better for gaming and productivity apps so this is really good so now with the other ssd if you want to think about something to do with this you can easily buy an enclosure and make it an external ssd drive so that's what i'm going to do later on in the future like you saw in the video this i actually got it after i finished installing everything uh, these are the thermal pads which are very cheap they're like six dollars for a pack of four and i put one on over the ssd drive and one over the heatsink which you saw in the video already and that's it that's all i did so now we have a very good running computer and the uh, available storage so far on my computer is 855 gigabytes 855 gigabytes and the real size of course is 930 gigabytes instead of one terabyte in reality is 930 gigabytes so yeah that's what you actually get so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about this upgrade and like i said if you're interested on these ssd drive and the thermal pads and everything else i'll just leave it in my descriptions so you guys can get it from there and also help the channel as well if you have any questions please leave it in the comments till next time bye bye